Hi, Steve Cooper, Rank Success, and this is a video about the current recruitment uh, campaign by South Australian Police of UK police officers. So if you didn't know that was going on, it's going on at the moment. Uh, one of the issues for policing at the moment is that experience is walking out the door. Uh, people have intentions to quit the current police service in the UK for lots of different reasons, uh, whether that's conditions, officer welfare, um, you know, retention issues, and uh, leaving to become train drivers and other issues uh, and occupations. And the Australian police are obviously making hay while the sun shines, no pun intended, uh, but they're coming across the UK to do a number of uh, recruitment uh, events. Uh, and last year, there were apparently it was reported that 1,400 UK cops went across to sunnier climes in Australia. And you might be sitting there thinking, well, why are you doing this, Steve? Because your business is focused around UK cops and supporting them for promotion. And I can kind of sit back and say, well, look, it's not the end of the world. Uh, it represents a fantastic opportunity for some people and their families to take a quantum leap uh, in the right direction for them at this time in their lives. But I've seen people go to Australia in previous recruitment campaigns when I was a serving cop. Uh, I've seen some of them come back as well. So it certainly is worth you thinking about and really going around the national decision model uh, to help you make that decision lots of information and I've written a blog about it recently on policepromotion.blog at Rank Success and if you whip across and look at that I'll put some uh, useful stats, some useful background information, uh, lots of links in there for you to do a deeper dive uh, but as I say the uh, uh, South Australian police are coming across to do a number of recruitment events. I've got the details here, um, they're all in March and uh, 16th of March at Glasgow Hampton Park between 10 a.m. and 3 p.m. Uh, the 20th of March at Dublin in the Temple Bar at Ireland. Uh, on the 23rd of March between 10 a.m. and 3 p.m. at Birmingham Villa Park. And on the 25th of March 2024 at the Army and Navy Club in London on Pall Mall uh, between 2 p.m. and 6 p.m. Uh, there will be a link in the podcast that I've done. I've also done a podcast about this uh, and I'll put the, the link below as well for the South Australian uh, Government Australia uh, site with some of these details on so you can register for it and they are obviously supporting officers with frequently asked questions around what that kind of move would entail. It, clearly it's a massive move, uh, a significant life decision um, and so the requirements and correct submission of an application I think the criteria is you've got to have three years in at the moment is what they're looking for. Uh, and uh, there's the recruitment test they'll be answering questions on, the evaluation and testing processes, the panel interview, uh, and physical testing, including the required standards and information on how you can prepare yourself. So it offers an opportunity. Um, you look at the current, uh, you know, zeitgeist of UK policing in, and, and for, you know, it suits people. For some people, it suits people. Some people are having a thriving career. Uh, and, but for other people, the zeitgeist is more challenging. And th that's reflected in the um, National Police Wellbeing Survey of last year, 2023, uh, where they looked quite seriously at some of the issues going on in policing. And, you know, lots of issues around burnout, uh, around intentions to quit policing. Certainly in terms of retention, a lot of experience is walking out the door of policing. That's not good for UK policing. Uh, what you've got also after the uplift is a massive cohort of young in-service officers who need that support from experienced officers and are going to have to make their own way through policing uh, without that. And forces are trying to plug the gaps as best they can. But this recruitment campaign by Western Australian Police is pretty, pretty um, uh, naked in its ambition. And uh, if I read out the uh, Western Australian Policing Minister, or was at the time last year, Paul Papalia, he said he's perfectly open in his ambition to poach officers from the UK. And he says this response to the Western Australian government's recruitment campaign has been extremely positive, meaning that Western Australian police can handpick the best of the best as it unashamedly lures talented United Kingdom officers down under. 
Western Australia is a great place to live and work. Compared to the UK, we have higher wages, a lower cost of living and the perfect climate for year round adventure. Now that's the sizzle, um, that's the sell and you'll have to do a deeper dive into that if you want to. As I say, they're coming over uh, through March to answer uh, all your questions that you have, if it's something that you might want to consider for you and your family, but certainly police officers are looking to do that uh, and to make that jump for their families, um, to vote with their feet and leave the UK. As I say, that's just part of the zeitgeist. It's part of you know the events in policing. Uh, I've been around long enough to see the pendulum swing from one side to the other. Um, I joined not long after the Edmund Davis review where things got so bad in policing uh, that when it started swinging back, there were massive pay increases, significant conditions, improvements. And, you know, those kind of things happen. And in between, there are recruitment campaigns by Australian police uh, forces. Uh, South Australia is not the only police force. There's lots of others. Um, and they will come across and do their recruitment campaigns. So I want to support police officers, uh, aspiring police officers in their career. A lot of the uh, products that I offer are transferable. And I've had testimonials, you can see testimonials on my site, uh, from officers who are uh, in other police forces, in other uh, parts of the world, Australia. And on my podcast, I'll read out one of the testimonials from someone. It's all very transferable. You know, policing is a big family community uh, across uh, the hemispheres, if you like. And there are lots of people who know people in Australia have gone to policing and vice versa. And if you're aspiring to promotion and to career progression, then Rank Success can help you with some of the products. So uh, uh, podcasts, uh, digital toolkits, uh, promotion masterclass video, uh, and free podcasts and videos videos like this one just to kind of provide food for support and um you know and, and something to support your thinking and to provoke it and challenge it and also you know to signpost and direct and guide you to uh you know opportunities and challenges like this that you may want to consider for you and your family um not for everybody but for lots of people clearly um so what i would say is you know People say, would you want people to leave policing in the UK yourself, Steve? No, I think uh, whatever you do, wherever you are, you will make the best of your career, the best of your life circumstances. And so this video is very much around um, supporting you in that. If you hop on over to policepromotion.blog, you can find that um, blog I told you about comparing the Australian and UK salaries and cost of living and some of the property prices and you know the food and commodity prices and you can make your own decision so you don't have to take the policing minister's kind of sunny view of what it's going to be like you can make your own mind up and do uh, you know your own research your own due diligence on something that is a massive uh, step for you to leave but it's also a massive opportunity if you're someone who wants to um you know, progress that as an option for yourself and your family. Okay, I will be back with another um, YouTube video in due course. And until then, take care and stay safe.